Hey Southridge, Pastor Brent here with my top three for October the 22nd. Coming in at number one, it's Day at the Farm. Just two days away, that's all we got, two days away. And I wanna tell you, we've had a great response for people buying tickets. And so you have a short window still that you can get discounted tickets if you go to our website and buy the tickets for Day at the Farm, southridgefellowship.ca. And just as a reminder, it starts at two. When you get to Alder Acres, look for our tent. Stop there first, connect with uh, the people who will be there from our church, and then go and enjoy the farm. It'll be a great afternoon, regardless of its whether it's sunny or rainy, it's gonna be a great time. So I encourage you to sign up, take your family, take your friends, and go. Number two, it is Ask Anything Night on Monday night, the 25th. And we have a special guest, Dr. Ian Provan, who's gonna come in and deal with the very tough topic of how can a good God allow evil, suffering, pain, hell, the obliteration of entire civilizations in the Old Testament, how can a good God do that? And so he's gonna do a presentation and there's gonna be some Q&A and that's Monday night at seven, but you do need tickets. There's, there's a cost to going to that event. It's $5, get it on our website, southridgefellowship.ca. And then number three, uh, I just want to thank everyone who's been coming up to me, email me, phone me, uh, talking to me on Sunday and asking questions about my health. And so I thought it would be good for me just to give a general health update for everybody. Uh, some of you might be aware that in August I had a blood test that showed that my numbers are going up. So my cancer markers are increasing, not decreasing, which means that the radiation I did back in the spring is not working. In fact, when I visited my oncologist, he stumped, and that's not something you really want to have, is an oncologist who's stumped about your cancer. He's not sure why the normal treatments for my type of cancer isn't working. In fact, they're not even sure where the cancer is in my body. And so this coming Thursday on the 28th, I will be going for a PET scan. And so I'm, uh, if you would be, uh, if, if, you, if God brings my name to you on Thursday next week, I just would appreciate if you'd pray for me. First, I always would ask for prayer for healing, of course. But second, that in the PET scan, if God is choosing not to heal me at this time, that the PET scan would show the doctors where the cancer is in my body, that it would show up. And then that way they could figure out what my next treatment step would be. So that's the prayer. That's my update. I'm just so thankful to be part of a church that is caring, that uh, loves me and prays for me on a regular basis. So thank you, Southridge, for doing that. And I want to encourage you for this weekend, this coming Sunday, we're going to have an extra powerful Sunday. Every Sunday is awesome and amazing, but this Sunday we have a special guest giving their testimony as part of and sharing with us what God has done in their life, and that is Lee Wasmuth. So I encourage you to join us in person or online. It's going to be a powerful Sunday, one that you will never forget. We'll see you Sunday.